Welcome back to Podcast Recovery, everyone. We're your hosts, David O. Carly R. And behind the door is uh, Eric. V. Eric V. Correct. Yes, Eric yeah. V. Eric V. Um, and today we're doing another one of our mini topic sodes. Um, with topic sods, topic sods. <laughs> I like that. mini that's, mini sods. That's, that's the ty- That's what these are called. Topic sods. Topic sods. All right. Um. All right. Yeah, we've been workshopping it, but we're. I think we're doing good. Topic sods. And so you know, we we've been picking random things. We've done some IPs out of Narcotics Anonymous, and we're gonna we're gonna spread to some others. Uh, sooner or later, I just need to actually like get to some celebrate and smart recovery meetings and pick up some of their pamphlets, and then we'll start talking about that shit as well. Um, and this is just a random one that I have come across. It's 101 group topics, and you know we're picking number 5- 14 today, Ooh. which is what am I struggling with? So you know, you know, this is a chance for you guys out there to you know reflect on what you're struggling with while you listen to what we're struggling with. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, the person who's probably struggling the least. Eric, how are you doing? What? <laughs> Why am I first? I'm not first. I this explained is your it. Topic. I, I explained it very topic. implicitly. This Wait. is your topic. You get to go first. Jesus. Why okay. You Wait, can go first. Or Carly can go first. Carly can go first. Why am I going first? Well, you seemed upset when I said David go first. No, I just want to know why you have a yeah, problem why, yeah, with going why, yeah, first. Why, yeah, why are you deflecting? Why should I be the one to go you, first? You have a struggle. You have a struggle with deflecting right now. Well, the question is though, where do you, where do I start with what I'm struggling with? Because I feel exactly. like exactly, it's, it's that's it's why so I, multifaceted. I'm, I'm to the point of there's, avoidance there's, right now. Yeah, because absolutely. Well, we both asked, "What are we not struggling with?" We, I feel like that. Are we not struggling with? <laughs> that might be shorter. Um. Oh, fine. Fuck Life. you, Eric. Yeah. Uh, what am I struggling with? I might I... have a bigger one than you think. So yeah, go ahead, David. That sounded dirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound dirty. Actually. You did, but. It's, nope, nope, it's nope, bigger nope, than nope, David. Nope, nope, David, nope. what I'm are you struggling with? I'm shutting that down. I bet it's bigger what than Eric. Eric, shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Eric. What am I struggling with? Oh, oh god damn it. You can start You can um, start small or uh, with the one that's maybe not as invasive as some of the other ones. I'm struggling with depression right now. Um it has been a very difficult week. And, you know, things just kept piling on, like, shit sucked at home with my wife. We had, like, a tiff or whatever last weekend, and, you know, it's just been walking on eggshells and and just, it's just having very difficult conversations, and, and it's just been very difficult and unpleasant and not nice. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm struggling on that front, um... And then at work, uh, I'm struggling with like one. Well, one of my coworkers is struggling with me, which is then like it, it is just blown has has continued to to blow out of proportion. How uh, are they struggling with you? So they're saying, okay, it goes. So it's been for like the last month or so. Like he he's saying like I'm a combative individual or whatever. Because in the last, um, since the beginning of the year, we got we did our reviews and and our whatever work plan goals for the next year, and they told this guy that okay, you're going to be the team lead now, which is not how our team has worked previously. Like we uh, all just, we were all just sort of on you know, on an equal plane, and we got we knocked out work. Mm. Um, we're actually the most profitable team in our in our. Um, CTC, so our our branch of our company, and we're the most profitable team. So we everything was working fine, and then they tell this guy like, "Oh, you're the team lead." And then for like all of January and February, he was just a raging dick to the to the other teams and like the other members of our team. So it's it's five guys, and uh, like we're all all the other guys and me are on the same page. We're like, dude, you're being you're being an asshole. And he doesn't see it that way, blah, blah, blah. And there were there were some there were a couple times in uh, over the last like couple months where he wants me to like cut corners and not do things the right way. And I'd be like, dude, no, like we can't do that. Like this is how this shit has to get done. And he's like, David doesn't fucking listen to me and blah, 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 blah and all this. And then me and one of my 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 work wife, Eddie, 
Um, is that a hilarious. man? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my work wife, Eddie, is a man. Um, <laughs> and now it's on my podcast. So, Eddie, I hope you listen to this and, <laughs> and laugh hysterically because he he actually referenced me as his work wife to his wife. And, and well, she was like, what? Your work wife? And it's like, it's fucking David. And th- she was like, oh, okay. So, anyway. Um, yeah, we were at the shop a month ago picking up parts and we were talking to like our supervisor who oversees our team, blah, blah, blah. So above our project manager and we were like talking about a third party entity. This is really long story. I'm sorry about this. (laughs) Um, we were like our, a previous work member who were like, yeah, our friend Mike, we should get him over and replace Mark because Mark's an asshole. And he took that as we were like trying to break up the team and da, da, da. I was like, what the fuck? And then it's just blown up from there. Toxic gossip. Toxic gossip. Yeah, fucking 100 percent. And like I haven't had the chance to actually just sit down face to face. And that blew up like two, two weeks ago. And. So he's been holding some sort of resentment against me and, and clearly just like coming after me. And I'm like, I've, I've squashed the beef. I don't care. Like, okay, you're, you're an asshole, whatever. I, like you've been an asshole, whatever, but we need to just sit down and actually just hash it out as fucking men and as adults and be like, listen, like the, you're taking things out of context. I'm taking things out of context. Everything is blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, I got a call this week from my one, um, supervisor who was like listen if you if you guys don't figure this out we're gonna have to move you to a different team mark's not gonna move you're gonna fucking move and i was like what the i was like what the fuck is happening like the whole thing has just gotten like way out of proportion and like i just got like this threatening phone call and it it was just in the midst of all that and then like there's just been like financial fucking troubles like not troubles but just like difficulties and and it, it, it just so many things have been piling on to the point where, like, my mind, like, over the last week has, has just been completely fucked to the point where I went about almost, almost, you know, two days without eating. And I didn't even realize it. Oh. Yeah. Didn't, That's a win. Didn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and I'm, and one of the only people I was talking to throughout this was Carly. You know, thank you, Carly, for always being there and, you know, being supportive. Um. I thought, and I thought about texting Eric a few times, but you'd have been like, oh, you didn't eat in two days? That's dope, dude. Good for you. How much weight did, did you lose? Like five pounds? That's awesome. That's probably great, dude. <laughs> like, did you, like, oh, lost, lost, a, lost a little bit of that, that waistline? Oh, man, I wish I could do that. It actually, yeah, I did, it, I did notice that. And, a like, you put bit. on a jeans, you're like, oh, these feel a little loose. Dude, Fuck, I, yeah. yeah, I have not, you know, my, so my, my eating habits and sleeping habits over the last week have been atrocious. Um, and yeah, like I texted Carly Thursday morning. I was like, I haven't eaten in two days. I was like, and I totally didn't. And I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened just because I was just so fucked up in my own head that I, I, I couldn't, you know, I would have congratulated you. You're right. I know. I you would have been, said, I, and I thought great. about that. I was like, this is exactly why I'm not fucking texting Eric. Cause like, he'll be like, Oh, good for you, dude. Which is, and he obviously is tongue in cheek. He like he knows. No, it's tongue in cheek. It's entirely tongue in cheek. That's not like a good thing. Um, so yeah, like I've been I've been sh- struggling to uh, corral my own thinking because it, 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 with everything, just like as as soon as all that happens, you know, you're a failure as a father, you're a failure as a husband, you're a failure as a coworker, you're failing as a friend, you're failing as this, you're failing as that. Like you're a piece of shit. Da, 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 da. Wow. And the spiral goes down. And dude, yeah, it, and like it got dark. Like there were probably two, three days this week where I'll, I'm driving home from work in my fucking work van. I was like, I just want to crash this fucker into a tree. Like I just want to run this fucking thing off the fucking road. I hate this. I fucking hate this right now. Um, might be time to like start looking for another job, man. No, 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 no. Definitely. Do you, not. Yeah, we don't want to cut and run just when things no, get hard. Definitely not. No, I love I, I love this company. I love my team. It, like we're just going through some like a, a difficult time. This is nothing irreparable. It just needs to actually be sat down and talked about, and then we can move forward. Clearly, do you not respect him? Is that the issue? <sighs> It's okay. Uh, I've had bosses I don't respect. I've had eight bosses in the past five years. So <laughs> okay. it sounds like a you problem. Yeah, that's a you problem. It's fucking crazy. There's, there's dude. They just move here, me around, and I'm like, no, I'm just a good worker, so they don't have to worry about me. So they're like, oh, you can just have Eric. No, um, 
Uh, as a person, no, I don't. I don't particularly respect him as an uh, as like because you you know you talk to your coworkers and you find out who they are outside of work. Yeah, of course. So outside of work, do do I really like him? No. Um, uh, b- b- I'm more than civil with him. He's funny. Like he he, he like because we've worked for the last oh, year year and a half or whatever together. So like. Are you upset he got the job over you? No, he has twenty years experience. Oh no, he has twenty. Oh, then that's not the problem. No, okay. no, 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 no. That no, the power dynamic is not the problem at all. I just think it's gone to his head a little bit, yeah. and maybe, or I don't even know if it's that, or he just feels a level of pressure now that he Probably. didn't feel before, and so he's processing that and not idea. processing it well. Um, so. Like I, I, I'm trying to give him him that leeway as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's uncomfortable conversations at home. It's uncomfortable conversations uh, at work, and you know it's just tons of fucking stress. And yeah, it's fucking difficult. And uh, yeah, truth to, truth be told, I even had, which is very fucking weird for me. I even like I drove past a liquor store. And I was like. I want to get drunk and fucking forget all of this. Really? I have not thought That's about not alcohol dated. in years. And, well, it was cool. Like, I'm glad it wasn't drugs, but technically. But it was the liquid drug. I was like, I want to get a fucking bottle and get fucking faced. I just want to get fucked up. And I was like, because, yeah, as soon as I'm in that negative of a headspace, I'm just like, oh, that'll show my wife. That'll show my co <laughs> You know, like, just, mm-hmm. just being in a, spite of. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, uh, and that's exactly how, like, the, the manifestation of addictions, like, you know, can claw their way back into your life. And you guys know me. I don't believe addiction is some fucking monster doing push-ups in the fucking doing push-ups in the, the park, parking lot no it's me it's it's my it's my own thinking it's my own coping ability and all that and believe it or not the fucking the the meditation on thursday night was like all about everything i had been dealing with all week and it was a nice 20 minute long meditation and like it really helped a lot like so in the last like 48 hours i, f- I feel a lot better um but I like, but the you know the shit between my ears isn't still isn't perfect. Um, but I feel a little bit better. I've been, I may I've made a conscious effort to eat over the last forty eight seventy two hours to nice. you know balance that back out because that's another part of it. If you're fucking hangry, you can't think straight. You can't you can't sleep right. Um, you know, it, it's a multi pronged attack. Uh, so yeah, if you're, if you're not eating, you're going to be fucked up. If you're not sleeping, you're going to be fucked up. And, uh, in yeah, it, it's a lot of balance. I've been struggling with balancing a lot of things. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And, uh, I'm sure people out there relate to that on some level. So maybe, you know, think about some shit. Hopefully you listen to this on your way home and cry like I did a couple times this week. <laughs> Sounds like a David thing. It's a hundred percent a David thing. You don't you, what? You don't cry on your way home from work? Not usually. What do you just no. you just commute like a normal human? I What's wrong commute? with you? Yeah. Do you cry in the car, Carly? Sometimes, yeah. Well, actually, okay. I, but I don't have very long of a commute. So I don't. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. get it out. I, yeah, I have. Yeah, <laughs> I, my I'm commute driving. is really short. Yes, yes. I'm. Um, I'm. Yeah, I'm driving back from Chantilly, like an hour and forty five minutes. Just down like, the <laughs> stairs. Dude, I put a, <laughs> around the corner and around the corner, and then I, I get I, I have a little tear as I enter the room, and then I, I pull myself back together, to oh. start the day. Oh yeah, no, sometimes no. it it has to happen. Dude, yeah, there were two days I actually put on my 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 sad playlist, and I my I, sad playlist. Oh, I have a playlist. It's yeah, literally I, called I have, sad. I have a few playlists. Um, what's my one? My one playlist is called like sad songs and loss or something my, yeah mine's just called sad i listened to mad world it's several called, times I this think week i need a sad playlist yeah, yeah i think mine, everybody should have a sad playlist mine is called sad songs and disco that's what my i have an playlist. hbic playlist oh yeah head bitch in charge <laughs> hell yeah yes yeah, you should that's a good one hell yeah I, I that's where know. that's the one i go to the most yeah 
Yeah, but yeah, Eric. Yeah, one of my go tos is Mad World, and it's it's a very sad song. Mad World is a very it's sad a very song. <laughs> depressing song, and I listened to that several times this week and cried. So yeah, and you can listen to like the um just like instrumental pieces of that song. It's very mm-hmm. depressing. yeah, it's very great. sad. So yeah, that that's that's what I'm struggling with, and uh, yeah. Next. <laughs> you sure that's it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's more. Um, what am I struggling with? Um, responsibility okay. and anger. Mm-hmm. A lot of anger. Mm-hmm. What are you angry about, Carly? Life. That's like my default emotion. Well, mm-hmm. Why are you angry at life? Um, because I just want to be left alone. And there's mm-hmm. always something that has to be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when I feel like I'm doing 80% of it, when I have somebody who should also be contributing, mm-hmm. oh, yep, yeah, I get super frustrated and mm-hmm. angry. Mm-hmm. Um, Share that. Like this week, I'm currently not struggling with my job because we've had a week and a half off for Easter. Mm-hmm. So right now, that's that's not even a concern. Um, but the problem is, is when I'm home and not working, I look at all of the things around the house mm-hmm. that. I've asked to be done and aren't done, and I get angry mm-hmm. very, very quickly. And it just, I don't understand. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, then I have to do it. So then comes into the responsibility of like doing everything that needs to be done around the house. And then, like, respon- too much responsibility is what set me over the edge. Like when my addiction took off, like when I was taking care of my mom, mm-hmm. um, like feeling like the weight's falling, like the world's falling. Yeah, like the, on, whole, the yeah. whole weight of the world is on you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I feel that a lot. Like I, obviously it's definitely not true, but I feel it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, perception it makes, is reality. And it makes me angry. Yeah. Um, to where I just don't want to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a lot of the things right now around the house that like, it's so fucking simple. So why... Like, the laziness makes me angry. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I'm, like, helping with my sister because of my niece. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, she's doing good. She starts round five of chemo next week. Good. Um, So it's, like, dropping everything and helping her. And, like, I'm not mad at my sister. Like, I know she needs help. But it's, like, everything, like, my week and a half off, there was not a day this week that I didn't do anything at mm-hmm. all because something always needs to be done. And yeah. I just want to be, have nothing to do and to be left alone. Mm-hmm. And it makes me angry. Yeah. Um, do you do like me and you just like, you don't actually vocalize it and you just stuff it uh-huh. and you just, yeah, you just uh-huh. eats away inside you. Uh-huh. Yep. What you're doing though for your sister is like, it's amazing. That's, that's like a good thing. It's, yeah. It's hard. But, yeah. Yeah. Like, no, like I'm, I'm happy to do it. Like that's, like I'm not angry that I have to. Like I'm very happy to be able to be there and support. But it's her. An, it's another thing. But it's another in, thing in on the, my in the plate. Scales, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah. that's what it is. It's like when it's just too much. Uh-huh. Um, whether it's around the house or when it is at work, because that's burnout a, is real. A lot. Uh-huh. Um, when it's because I was just we were talking before the podcast. Um. That I like ratio for my position is one to two fifty. Mm-hmm. I'm at one to five thirty. Jesus. So I'm more than double my ratio. Yeah. And it is a lot. Yeah. So it's like that on top of everything. And then I come home and feel like I have to do everything else on top of that with the dogs, the everything else that needs to be done around the house. Oh fuck, I just thought another struggle. Um like this week, it was like the, our taxes still haven't been done, mm-hmm. and who has to be the one to sit down and do all that? That Me. was another part of when ours. I've asked yep. for the W two, his W two mm-hmm. for months now. I've asked him to take care of something else that came up for months now. Also, apparently, I fucked up my taxes, so that's that's part of the monetary issue. Is that it, like I fucking nobody mm-hmm. trains you how to do and this the, shit. The, what do you mean you fucked him up? Where you guys fucked up? I uh, I wasn't I'm getting sorry. I wasn't getting enough taken out of my taxes, so I'm actually gonna owe federal. Mm. Uh, we're getting a, like it almost balances out between what we're getting back from state and what we owe, but still, I'm gonna have to be on a fucking payment plan uh, 
just for like it, it won't be a lot then it'll be like a hundred bucks a month whatever not a, not a big deal but enough that like it's fucking annoying because i am not rich i don't make a shit ton of money why do i owe the federal government fucking taxes like that shit infuriates mm-hmm. me i don't understand that shit it's f- we're not gonna get into that we're you gonna know? skip we're gonna skip beyond that because that's a that's a whole different fucking podcast it should just be a number it should just be a fucking number. Everyone like you made this much, you pay you, like this is what, or that's what you're gonna get take out. They're like, oh, here, tell us how much you're gonna pay us. Whoa, well, why? You no, know how no, much no, no, no. Stopping it, kaboshing. Okay. Back to Carly. Back to Carly. Nope. I don't know. Um, but it like all started like with something simple last week. Mm-hmm. Um, it was over the fucking grass. Mm-hmm. Like the grass hadn't been cut. And it's needed to be cut for two weeks, and the poor poor Tucker and Ripken have to go out and use the bathroom with grass, like, long enough to be, like, sticking out into their ass when they're taking a shit. Mm-hmm. And that bothered me, so then I go into the shed to get, like, Friday to, not yesterday, last Friday, to get the lawnmower out, and I can't get to the lawnmower because there's just shit piled up in the shed. Mm-hmm. So it was like that one little thing had set me off because there was so much other shit building up that yeah. I said nothing about. Oh, yeah. All the dominoes had uh-huh. lined up and it's just. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it just went from there. And it's like. It must be like he had one day off this week and I'm like cleaning the bathroom and doing other shit. And I'm like, it must be nice to have a day off and actually be able to take the day off like mm-hmm. and do nothing and sit down there and play video games and mm-hmm. not do a goddamn thing to help me. Yeah. And I'm sure if I asked, yeah, he probably would have gotten up and a- and helped. Mm-hmm. And to me, I think I shouldn't have to ask, mm-hmm. but you can't read my mind. Mm-hmm. But still, the it's it's bad. But I, there's a song that's to the tune of, um, if you're happy and you know it, it's your <laughs> wife is your partner, not your mom. <laughs> your wife is what? your partner, not your mom. Your wife is your partner, not your mom. She's not a living maid or a hired cleaning crew. Your wife is your partner, not your mom. Oh, I've never heard this. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it is stuck in my head now on a loop, like, all the time, and then I find myself (laughs) singing it it. it. out loud, and I'm like, oh, God, it's going to start an argument, but... Anyway, yeah, it's just, like, the added shit, and then I'm, like, even last night, like, I took my sister's dog, and so then I have three other people, like, sucking, or not even people, three animals sucking the life and energy out of me. Mm-hmm. Like, I just need somebody to do dogs something are, for me instead of having to do everything for everyone else. Mm-hmm. And that's what I struggle with um, a lot. I feel like Eric's And then on top of that. Like just nothing. We'll He's go, just going to be like, we'll, I'm good. We'll let yeah. Eric go. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What you got, Eric? What's what's? Show me your big one. Oh, <laughs> show so, us your big one, Eric. What What am I currently struggling with? Um, so MC will be, ups- hopefully she's not the other room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we get to be in a totally different house than our I know. people. And Garrett like doesn't listen to this because I ask him never to. Oh really? Mary, uh-huh. Mary doesn't He's listen never to this even listen either. to mine. Yeah, Mary, oh, Mary doesn't. Not to. Why? Because I don't want him to listen to it, and he's respected that. And never. My wife does not listen mm. to any of these podcasts. Yeah. Mm. Does your wife listen, David? She has. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I listen to the podcasts. I know you do. Yeah, I've you're, gone back. You're on a uh, you're on a re-listen right now. Right, right? Yeah, back I, to Eric. I'm on a re-listen. Yep. Sorry. Eric. Ugh, so fine. I'll share. Um. <laughs> So, we have been trying uh, for, er, let's see, it's April, almost a year now Mm -hmm. for another kid, Mm -hmm. Um, and we just had another miscarriage. Oh. So, it's really, it's not as as bad as the last one. The last one was bad, because that was a DNC, um, which Mm. I don't know what that stands for, but people know what that acronym means. Um, So, that one was surgery. This one was like... Oh God! What was the way they? She described it. This was your body efficiently took care of the uh, mm. abortion. Oh God, that's um, that's like horrible. how the doctor described it. I was oh, like, ah! yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, so like, I mean, we're doing stuff on our end to like fix sort of stuff, and you know, my wife has like tons of medical issues. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, we're going to see different doctors and stuff, but it's crushing. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Well, gonna, now I feel now like a dick. Just right. going to keep trying, you know, and then uh, hopefully have another one and then, mm-hmm. then we can adopt mm-hmm. eventually. That's the goal. But so, we want one more, you know, that's ours. Yes. That's yeah. why Eric didn't want to start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. Yeah. It all makes sense. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you. boom, motherfucker. <laughs> See, with with the two of us, if the things that we're struggling with, if, if we just probably vocalized it, we wouldn't be struggling. So that's really probably our 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 real struggle is that we don't say shit. We bury it down, and then we feel the way that we feel. Yeah. And then we're fucked. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I. I well, mm-hmm. it, what, it 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 is a, a piece of rotten fruit in the back well, of the fucking fridge, and I'm just like, ah, you know. You what know, you're it's describing, fine there. It's Carly, I deal with too. I get it. I get yeah. it. Like the eighty twenty kind of thing, where it's like, please just help me. Please help me. Please help me. Like, yeah, just clean. Well, a and bit. Uh, so and and yeah, as far as like with with Kristen, you know, uh, it, it's it's both ways. So it's it's not just like. That's like I have vocalized stuff to her. Yes, you have. And then it doesn't get done. Yeah. And then it's st- like still nothing. Nothing comes to fruition. So it's not even like oh I expect them to know. I'm like no you fucking know and you didn't do it. So I like that. That is even like I in my opinion I'm like that's an even more legitimate like problem. Mm-hmm. Like because yeah, Kristen like and yeah, Kristen you know, we've had this conversation and you know, whatever. Um. Uh, yeah, she has medical issues too, and I like, and I've been trying to help her for years. And I'm like, here's here is a whole list of things that you need to do, and like to to make yourself feel better. None of them are even attempted, and then like flare ups and medical issues, and this happened and that happened, which like make make her life difficult, which then in turn makes my life difficult, which makes our child's life difficult. And I'm like, that's not fucking fair. Like you, you not being able to lift your own child because you're like, you have such a bad flare up that you can like your shoulders fuck. Like you're not taking care of yourself. And like, it's been years and years and years of just cumulative effect. And I'm just like, if you did the years and years and years of little work, you probably would feel better yeah. and your, your condition would be better. And this wouldn't be a fucking problem. And so, yeah. And so, and it's similar to your sister where like I'm like I'm not mad at her condition I'm mad that she's not taking care of it and that, like I'm taking on the responsibility to do like do the homework yeah to, like Ugh. fix yourself fix yourself bitch right but also like with my sister though she's not not doing anything yeah yeah I don't no, wanna... no, no 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 I just like in yeah, the, in yeah, the, in yeah, the yeah. medical yes it's like, a very she very needs loose, all hands on deck connect. yes absolutely yeah yeah, yeah that's in total that's it's yeah, that's and it's, because it's, I'm the closest one that I'm always there yeah hell yeah. yeah 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 and you're doing exactly what you need to do and okay yeah full disclosure and you, this is all in my mind it's all in my mind let me preface that but Oh, you like through all all of these difficulties, dude, like over the last week. And this has just been totally in my mind, but fucking just I'm walking down the street in Arlington, Virginia, and there's a hot girl and I have immediate just horrible, lustful thoughts of like, I will divorce my wife right now for that sexy bitch. Right now. Why Fuck do you it. have to divorce her? Because, I'm a, because my brain sucks. Well, couldn't you come up with some sort of arrangement to decouple sex from your relationship? <laughs> but then, that's part of the whole, like, that's not cool either. To be just is like, it not cool? Why is it cool that they uh, have uh, to uh, decouple uh, with no, 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 no. Well, it, well, some people operate differently. Yes. But it, it, yeah, if that's the arrangement, yes. But I'm just saying having the fucking lustful fucking thoughts just because I'm having like difficulties with my wife and like my brain mm-hmm. is immediately like, oh, well, I want to fuck this girl because she's hot and she's not causing me any fucking problems right now. And but I'm sure if I did that, like, it, you know, it's a whole fucking litany of fucking horrible shit. But yeah, over the last week, like. I have seen every hot redhead on every corner of every city I've been in while fucking working. I'm like, you're hot. You're hot. You're hot. Just you're not redheads? my wife. You're hot. And it's like, I guess just redheads. Yeah, that's weird. I have a thing for redheads. I really like redheads. Are, redheads are fucking smoking. Hell yeah. I don't know what it <laughs> sounded. My voice got really <laughs> sultry there. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, so if you're listening out there and you're a redhead, do not DM don't, me. Yeah, don't hang out do, you're not allowed on the podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dye you your hair. You're doing him any favors. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could do me some favor. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem. That's why we we steer clear. Uh, you know, I, it, I don't We're know. We're going to change the subject. I'm actually going to talk about something okay. that I'm also struggling with. Let's hear it. The, I think I want to have a child. <gasps> yes. <laughs> I'm going to I yeah, I think I want a kid. Gonna temper that. But it also okay. comes back to the 80/20 responsibility thing oh. and creates a shit ton of fear in my mind. Um mm. that I don't know about it. Like that's that right now is where How do you feel? What do you mean? Well, I mean like That's what she's saying. Yeah, what do you want? You know, like, don't think about, like, Shut how up, it's going to be Keep after. Talking. Like, what do you actually No, want? like, but that's, that's, like, a real part of it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Like, scary. that's what's... It is that's scary. That's where some of the hesitation is, is, mm-hmm. like, I'm already feel... I, whether it's true or not, I feel like I am doing majority of the work. hmm I don't know if I can mentally take on something else. Do I want a kid? Yes, I do. And that's probably after the fact of spending so much time now with my niece and seeing how amazing she is. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I I, I don't know. I really don't know if mentally and emotionally I can handle it. That's an appropriate way to approach it. That that is a very healthy way to think and go about it. Because, I mean, so many people are just like, fuck it, I'm going to have a baby. No, don't do that. <laughs> so that's no. actually been like a, a struggle, internal struggle going back and forth between the fact probably for about a couple months now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, how does your husband feel about that? Do you talk about that with him? Um, Not really. I know he wanted kids at some point. Um, Garrett's very... Like, Garrett's a meathead. Does he have a... He has a job, right? He does. He works for UPS. Yeah, he has a great okay. job. Yeah, he has a fantastic job. Um... I think there was so Eric's or, or Garrett's an old school guy. There was a very so back in September, my family asked me about having kids, and I made a very passive aggressive comment um, about it around his mother. Mm. Then That's she went to and told him, and then he <laughs> was so mad at me. But it did change how things were. For a while around the house where he was doing little things without me asking. Mm-hmm. And then it stopped. Mm-hmm. So we talk about it in roundabout ways. Yeah. Um, so that should kind of go ahead. jump in. Yeah, that actually just happened to me over the weekend. My like, like I'm sitting there, we're at a, a Easter family function with her family and uh, I'm playing with my son and I hear her talking to one of her whoever in her family about not wanting to have another kid and going on about that and blah 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 and she doesn't she doesn't know that I fucking heard her but so that's another thing I'm struggling with um, because uh, like it's pretty much to the point where I know I'm not going to have a second kid which is absolutely heartbreaking because I like I, I really want another kid um, I don't know. I just think only children are weird. They are fuckers. Only children are weird. Um, <laughs> fucking weird. If you're an old, only child out there, I don't fuck know. you. You're weird. And you know, I came from five. Uh, like, it, and I'm not asking for five. What? No, he has a sister. Yeah. Okay. Younger or older, Eric? Younger. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not older. No. Um. So, like, yeah, some I'm I've been struggling with for months and having to process and grieve, which she like. Um, the fact that like she was just so blase and like blowing it off in this in this eavesdropped conversation um, was just like such a lack of respect for like my emotions because I'm literally like in a grieving process for that. Mm. Like, like it is something in my life. It is like it is a dream that I know won't happen. Why can't you in- adopt? I don't, I don't know if that's on the table or not off the table. I I don't know. Have but, you talked uh, like, to her about it? No, I haven't. And like I, but well, I haven't really thought about adoption. Like very, like I'm I'm very open to it. But like it's you know, um, 
it's I, a whole other thing. But n- no, I, I really want a daughter. Like I had four sisters. I, I like I would love you to be. I would a daughter. I would love to be a girl. Do- uh, a girl dad. Um, a girl daughter. Um, I'd love to be a girl dad. Um, yeah, yeah, and I, I like I would like to have a son and a daughter, and that would be amazing. But like, it's to the point where like, it, it, I'm you know I'm very respectful. It's it's not up to me. Um, the ultimate decision is with my wife, who you know would carry the child and blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so like, and and the fact that she's just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wow, that that is deep. That cuts deep. That hurts. Um, so yeah, that's another, um, you know, lustful thoughts, fucking, you know, cause, and my fucked up brain will be like, oh, bitch, you'll have a kid with me. I could have a redhead kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck David. I'm just, Hey, I'm being honest and I'm just saying this is what my brain's doing. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going out hunting down women. Like if there was action behind to it, that, that would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. A no, whole another level of problem. I'm I'm nipping it. I'm trying to nip it in the bud in my brain. So um, is there a sex issue too? If you're lusting, I mean, when you're arguing with your spouse, you're generally not having a great sexual relationship. You don't really. I don't really want to be intimate with this person because I'll probably just hate fuck the shit out of them because I'm not interested in being around you. Because shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, and you guys, is that how you feel sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys don't really have like a place to go. Your apartment, like you're an apartment. Like yeah, you guys are kind of like there. Yeah, well, yeah. That's hard. Mm-hmm. You can't leave. You can go to another room. Nope. Nope. So oh. yeah, if David's yeah, if David wants to leave, like David leaves. David fucking leaves. But he doesn't. I never leave. I never go anywhere. Like I did last Friday when I like last Friday, like right after the big blow up. I was like, I'm going to a meeting. I was like, I have to. And I yeah, I went to the nine o'clock. Uh, down in Columbia, and then went out to the Silver Diner and ate corned beef hash at eleven thirty at night. Ooh, yeah, because Silver Diner is the best. Dude. And then I proceeded to not eat for the rest of the week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's where we're at. We're, we're, we're coming close to the. Any more like any other auxiliary struggles you got going over there, Eric? Um, just with work, yeah, but that's always yeah a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, getting passed over and shit like that. All mm-hmm. that bullshit. But I've had eight bosses, so yeah, I get passed over a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Five years. Yeah. I hear you. Oh, and yeah, the one uh, last more recent struggle, uh, which I just found out Thursday night, is my very first sponsee, to be unnamed. Um, yeah, what happened there, buddy? Uh, he's been lef- leaving me on red for the last six weeks. Unread? Or just like red, red. Okay. Like, so because I can see that he reads. I can see that he reads. I can see that he reads it, so, yeah, yeah. so he reads my text messages, never responds, and it's and uh, like it's nothing invasive. Like I'm, a, I'm a very like not hands off, but um, like, the way my sponsorship family is is very different. Like we're like, hey, our phones are on. We're like, we're not fucking shepherds. We're not babysitters. We're not helicopters. When you need us, we're here. And we, we like Herb still checks checks in on me every once in a while, like every few weeks. He'd be like, "Hey man, love you. How's everything going?" And that's about it. Um, if my ass is on fire, I know I can always call Herb and like, which you know I probably should have done. I did send him a text after after on Thursday. Is that when um, you found out that he went back out? Yeah, so I found that out from from other people um, after after my home group um, that they were like, "Yeah, he turned in like the the." Uh, treasury money and and handed over the keys to one of his he he started actually eric you should check it out they have an art meeting what yeah there's an art meeting where's that what what is that what what do you mean by that i don't even understand what that is so like they have sort of like a topic um and like they they preface it they do that they like do the opening to the meeting and then they're like hey the next half hour um or 45 minutes or, or i don't know the exact time they're like we have all these supplies we have uh, collage supplies. We have paints. We have coloring books. We have this. We have regular books so you can just read. And you just come here and then you relax and have just some sort of creative uh, outlet um, to make a, a piece of art r- relating to your recovery. And then they, they uh, I think it's a 75 minute meeting. And then they uh, were like, okay, uh, continue with your art. But like while you're doing that, we're going to read this passage or this person's going to share. Does it or- cost money? What is it called? Nope. Nope. 
it's 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 totally free it's an it's an na meeting um oh. and you know uh and they say that they were like, "Hey, you know, uh, part of the part of the donation, part of the the seventh step, you know, or seventh tradition, fully self supporting, um, goes to goes to art supplies um, instead of coffee and stuff like that." Uh, but it, it's it's actually pretty cool, dude. It's actually dope, and it actually now uh, some people have brought an art meeting to Laurel, so now there's two art meetings in the area Where was just the based other off art this meeting? one. It's right, dude. It's right down the street. It's at uh, the uh, Let Go and Let God. Oh, what day? Uh, uh, Wednesdays. Oh, they always have a, they they always try to put a meeting in there on Wednesdays. Yeah. So you remember when they had the step meeting in there with old dude? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but now they have an art meeting there, which my my sponsee started. But um, he's not your sponsee anymore. Not my sponsee. Well, you know, he's still my sponsee because he technically hasn't fired me, and I haven't fired him. Uh, so. He's, and he had over two years, right? He had over two years. He was going on. He was six months away from three. And okay. he, I'd worked the first three steps with him. So he um, made it the furthest side. the grays side in my beard, me. Carly. Oh. I'm not anymore. <laughs> um, That's a hard period of time. Eyes up here. Though. Okay. I um, get that. And, yeah, so, the, you know, uh, it, it's a new thing. I've He was my very first sponsee. Uh, so it, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh but it, it it's just interesting because, you know, I, I've I've seen some mistakes he's made and just some life decisions he's 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 chosen, which I warned him about and did him anyway. And it's just like, well, mm, yeah, what'd you get? Um, but um, y- yeah, him going and deciding to be unaccountable to anybody, uh, including himself, and starting to use again. Yeah, so he's actively using, um. And he said, I'm, I'm done with NA, I'm done with this, uh, bye. And so... I, I'm, I'm, I think you're fired. Yeah. He didn't... S- I, I mean, yes, he, I know. But he hasn't talked to me man-to-man as an adult. So, I, I you know, I'm, I'm doing the, I don't know, sponsor type thing. Like, my phone's always on. I still, mm-hmm. love, I still love the guy. If, mm-hmm. he call, if he calls me right now asking for help, I'm going to help him. Right. Um, but, yeah, I... Love, mm. love the dude. I hope he's all right. Uh, yep. Oh, Carly's giving me the, the red light. No, uh, no, 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 no. Something completely unrelated. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yeah. Julie Ertz is pregnant? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Sorry. Who? That was rude. Uh, U.S. Women's National Team. Sorry. Oh. She just um. retired. She's married to Zach Ertz. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she just she just retired. She's a blonde bombshell too. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, Shout out to the U.S. Women's National Team playing play, today. Right, play yep. Japan in a half an hour, and then yeah. we, we will be closing Signing this down so we can soon, go watch. Yeah. Um, uh, one last struggle. Yes. My desire to build relationships. Mm. That's a long time struggle. It is. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, that's. Because you're on and the, the ones. Because I know you, you're on the fence. Like you want it, but you don't want yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the ones, the re, like the relationships that I do have, sitting right next to you. Uh huh. Um, we're we're gonna talk more about this I later. Know. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm gonna get a tongue lashing. I got pissed off at David two weeks ago, and I'm just like, whatever, fuck him, write him off like that. Yeah. I didn't actually write him off, no. but like, I'm very quick to do that, and. Um, I think it goes back to the anger mm-hmm. thing. It's probably things I should be doing. No, no. It's something that you did that, like... Something I actually did? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Something you said that I was like, fuck you. What did I say? Um, oh, shit. We'll get into it. it. Just no. say it. Yeah, say it. I don't remember the exact, wor- exact words. Um, but oh, panic he gave me an unwarranted opinion. Oh, that I he said I um and you started it off with I know you didn't ask for my opinion but I did and then you gave me this long spiel and that's when I said all right fuck you well it was that, like N-n-n-n. okay we'll get into um it. but so even with the relationships Eric, I have I feel like I'm very quick to just be like eh whatever I'm done mm-hmm. I don't want to put in the effort mm-hmm. And that's with a lot of people. Yeah. 
So my desire or inability or, um, I guess, lack of desire or inability to build relationships. It's not that you're Or continue relationships. Yeah. I don't know. But that is a struggle Mm -hmm. that ends up, I said in the earlier podcast, I I came in alone and I'm still alone. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand that, Carly. <laughs> I came in alone too. I get it. No one. But you relish it. It's time. totally different. No, no. I I came in and I got picked up by an asshole, and no one told me that that dude sucked. And then like no one would talk to yeah. me for a while. But then you, for so. a while, you were you, you were a very out of character, m- moderate social butterfly. I was. I, I have my moments. Yeah, I yeah. You moments. do. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. I think we are. David's an asshole. I, we can agree. I think this was a good topic. Oh, I think this is a fantastic topic. Because I think I feel a just like bit an open, f- like, like open share. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That I think I need every once in a while. Yeah. Like I, I, I absolutely lo- like love you in these in the topic sodes. Mm-hmm. I, I think like you don't love me any other no. place. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, again. This is where you where you spread your wings. Like we yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 Like your questions are phenomenal with our with with our <laughs> with our speakers. I think you're trying to backtrack now. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm being very I'm, I'm very phenomenal. I'm, I'm being very genuine. No, with a, shut up, Eric. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't know. <laughs> Fuck! I'm, God damn it! Everybody, this this episode's over. Thank you for listening. Uh, we are struggling internally. Please uh, send us uh, tourniquets because there, so uh, there will be blood. <laughs> Eric, get the get the stun gun. Yeah. Um, all right, everybody. Yes. So that is what we personally here, podcast recovery, are struggling Aww. with, and uh, we will get through it. Um, but no, everybody, you know, this is a, a very important topic. You, uh, think of it yourself. Uh, what, are, what are you struggling with? Uh, and tell com- someone. Tell Share. somebody. Yeah, communication. And, of course, we're saying that being the worst <laughs> communicators. Right, but this we just talked about we how just it talked made about it feel it. Us better. Uh, yes. We need this. Mm-hmm. And, and we're going to talk more. And, yeah, so work on those relationships in your life. Work on that relationships with yourself. And, uh, yeah, work on the balance. Work on life. Or all those things. Uh, so yeah, and if you have any topics, send them our way, and we will talk about them with our shitty bandits. Uh, but most importantly, everybody, uh, yeah, go to our social media outlets, like, share, subscribe, oh. Patreon, give us some money. Go to our uh, merch. Go pick up a uh, fantastic doormat that Eric spent years creating. Years. Years, literal years. And we're gonna make some shirts too. That, yeah, we got like, shirts. We'll have and some stuff. fun mm-hmm. sayings such as. Uh, I'm super um, excited about the app. I'm That's going to gonna be cool. Yeah, we are making an app. My friend is creating that now. Mm-hmm. Um, but the shirts, wait for the shirts. Yeah. The shirts are going to have some nice little sayings. I want some, I want like, some, yeah, um, I want some. Badass stripper chick. Uh, <laughs> you know, some of our better titles. <laughs> okay. I, I want some help in designing this, so don't, you know. You, you, Badass yeah. stripper chick. Anyway, to wrap this up, finally, everybody, thank you for joining us. But most importantly, everybody out there. Stay safe and stay clean.